Craft new charm. Exploring Taiwan's patterned glass. Walking through neighborhoods in Taiwan, you'll likely notice beautiful patterns on the windows of some houses. Those windows are made of patterned glass. It is made by pressing patterns onto one or both sides of the molten glass with rollers before it sets. This design allows light to pass through the glass while maintaining privacy. The glass industry in Taiwan can be traced back to around 1887, and Taiwan became one of the world's main manufacturers in the 1970s. From the 1960s to the 1970s, houses in Taiwan were built closely to one another. Privacy became a major concern, as neighbors could easily take a glance into nearby houses. Thus, patterned glass became a popular choice. Over time, as locals became more familiar with the craft, Taiwan developed unique patterns with local styles. The following are a few common types of patterned glass. Begonia glass. Begonia is one of the best known patterned glass styles in Taiwan. The pattern combines large flowers with smaller ones placed in between. It's often used in films to recreate scenes of early times in Taiwan. Reeded glass. Reeded glass features vertical stripes bringing a sense of order to space. It fits various modern design styles and is commonly used in offices. Hello everyone, welcome to English for You. I'm Mike. And I'm Laura. Well, you know what the, one of the things I love about my job is, Laura? Is? You're supposed to say working with me. Oh, working with me. Of course it is, but no, that's not what I was going to no. say. What I was going to it is working with you. <laughs> okay. But the other thing I love is we get to learn about so many fascinating Ooh. places in Taiwan right. by doing all these great articles. Oh, that's thi- right. Exploring I, different things. That's right. The thing I don't like is I'm often too busy and stuck in Taipei, oh. and I can't get out there to actually do the things Same. that I read about and learn about yeah. and put on my list. But I guess I'll just add this to the list: old craft, new charm, exploring Taiwan's patterned glass. Oh. Yeah, they make a lot of things in Taiwan, from right? microchips to gogoros <laughs> to all sorts of other wonderful things, including pineapple cakes. But they really? also make. Patterned glass here. Now, someone said Taiwan. List a bunch of things they make. I would not have said patterned glass. Exactly. No, that This wouldn't. Is something I'm really, you know. Curious about as it. It well. is. I am. But actually, the right? other day, I was thinking in my apart. I have a right? weird window okay. in my apartment that goes right? from the living yeah. room into like the little laundry room. Okay. And I don't know why there's a window, but it lets light in.、Mm. But I was thinking, it's probably feng shui. It could be feng shui,、yeah. and it is. You know, it does actually let light into the dining room. But I was thinking, this boring plain glass. What、mm. if I put pattern glass or colored <gasps> glass? In that That's window, a great idea. wouldn't that be nice? It'd be like art, but light, light、mm. art. You know, so maybe I should go down to this place, rip the、right. window out of my、mm-hmm. house, bring it with me,、mm. and I can come back with something beautiful. But first, let's、yes. find out all about it, and we'll find out if this is the place for me to live out my decorating <laughs> dreams for my little dining room. Anyways, the article begins walking through neighborhoods in Taiwan. Here we are. You'll likely notice beautiful patterns on the window. Of some houses,、mm. I'm usually looking at the sidewalk and making sure someone <laughs> isn't riding a motorcycle、yes. or a bicycle at me.、Mm. But yes, if I do look up at the windows, I would probably notice patterned glass.、Mm. So that's glass with interesting designs on exactly. it, exactly. Just not plain clear glass. Yeah. Okay. I think you guys are more familiar with the noun pattern.、Mm. Pattern 当做名词就是图案啊、花样。可是课文我们提到的是 patterned， no, no pattern. 呃，就是形容词带图样的、有花样的。所以提到课文就说，走在台湾的社区，你很可能会注意到一些房子的窗户上，哎，有美丽的图案哦。
Mm -hmm. So what is patterned glass, and how do they make it? Good question. Here's the answer. Those windows are made of patterned glass. This is glass you usually can't see through.、Right. It lets light through. I don't know which one they're talking about. Yeah, I mean,、mm. often in your bathroom,、yes. you might have、yes. patterned glass, for example. So that's what it is. Imagine that. And how do you make it? That's a good question. It is made by pressing patterns onto one or both sides of the molten glass with. Rollers before it sets. <laughs> That totally makes sense because glass is soft. At some point,、mm. you can change the shape at that time, and then it cools down. It gets hard, and bada, pattern glass、mm. like magic. Right, and here we see the phrase "be made of something."、Hmm. 以什么什么制成 For example, this necklace is made of. Beautiful gemstones, Ooh, not the one、diamonds. I'm wearing right now, right? Okay.、Diamonds. And we also saw the adjective molten,、mm. which is a little bit difficult. 这个形容词就是指像是玻璃、金属，甚至是或是岩石哦，融化的。Okay,、mm. 或是。啊，融掉这样意思哦。Those hot rocks that fly right, out of a volcano. Exactly. Oh, yeah. There you go.、Yeah. And roller、mm. 这个名词就是用于碾压或者是铺展或者印刷的这个呃滚筒这样的意思。而动词 set 在这里表示是表示是凝固凝结。所以，哇，课文是说这些窗户是用压花玻璃制成的，而压花玻璃。的透过在这个呃玻璃凝固之前呢，使用这个滚筒将图案硬压在玻璃的一面或者是双面所制成。That sounds hard. It does sound、mm. hard, but also kind of you know it makes sense how、right. they would make it. And as we mentioned, if you think of the windows in many bathrooms, that's what we're talking about. And why、yes. would you have patterned glass in a bathroom or your bedroom, <laughs> for example? Well, this design allows light to pass. Through the glass while maintaining privacy. In other words, light can come through, but people's eyes can't see through. No, so, in you know your bathroom or somewhere where、yeah. you're you know naked,、right. you don't want your neighbors seeing you. And in Taiwan, a lot、right. of buildings are closed、yes. and apartments and stuff. This will give you privacy.、Yeah. Let's find out about that word. All right, privacy is basically being free from attention you don't want, keeping things you want secret, secret. In other words, if you're in your bathroom and you take your clothes off, you don't want the whole world looking in at you, do you? No, you would want privacy. If you're writing in your diary, you don't want everyone to read it. Your brother, your friends, your parents. No, you want some privacy about those words and what you write in your diary. And The same thing you would、uh, do to close your curtains in a window. If people can see through, but you close the curtains so they can't see through, now you have privacy, your own personal space to be on your own and do stuff so other people can't see or know about it. We should point out if you talk to a British person, they would say this word privacy. Privacy for North America, privacy for Britain, and probably Australia. For example, Barry closed the door so that he could have some privacy while he talked on the phone. That's true. You don't want just privacy from people's eyes, sometimes from people's ears as well. I say privacy. Privacy, privacy in Australia,、yeah. it's privacy. Yeah,、oh, okay. Okay, 这个名词就是隐私的意思啦 It's important to respect each other's privacy,、mm. like not peeking at someone's diary, mom.、Mm. Your mom, yeah, she did she that. Does that all the time? No way. And my love letters. You should read her diary.、Yeah. All right, back to the article. <laughs> the glass industry in Taiwan, wow, can be traced back to around 1887. That's older than me. And me. That's crazy. <laughs> and my grandma. <laughs> and your grandma too, and maybe your great grandma, maybe, maybe even. And Taiwan became one of the world's main manufacturers in the 1970s.、Oh. So this was part of Taiwan's big economic miracle,、yes. becoming an Asian tiger economy,、oh, hey. making all sorts of things, including glass. But if we go right back to the beginning of glass making in Taiwan, if we trace it back to its beginning or start, we would have to go back to 1880. 
eighty-seven, and that is what we do when we trace. When you're tracing something, especially in history or in time or in research, you're kind of following the history, following the story of that thing back to its beginning. For example, beer making has been traced back to ancient Egypt. Or、wow. even earlier, like、wow. four or five thousand years ago, they were making beer, and scientists know this from learning things, discovering things,、Ooh. and I think even finding old pots with like dried up beer、oh, inside. Okay,、yeah. interesting. Yeah. We all love beer. Okay, trace 这个动词就是追查。回溯来源等等，那我们常常会用 trace something back to something else， 就是回溯某事物的来源至某时期。For example, when you trace the history of a family, you might discover interesting stories about your ancestors.、Mm-hmm. Ancestors. Yeah. Hmm, and we also saw the word manufacturer. This is a 名词哦，就是制造商。嗯、mm. ，All right. From the 1960s to the 1970s, houses in Taiwan were built closely to one another. Anyone、mm. who's been to a city or a town、um, in Taiwan knows that the streets can be quite narrow, quite close together,、mm. and that means the buildings are close together. And you know,、Personal、you want、space. privacy.、Mm. You don't want the whole world to look. Look in、uh, in your home when you're just doing stuff for you. Right. Okay. One another 就是彼此互相 For example, friends always support one another in good and bad times. Supposedly.、Mm. Okay. And. Next, we read. Privacy became a major concern or、mm. a big worry for people. <gasps> Private, everyone wanted privacy.、Yeah. This is a major、bundle. concern as neighbors could easily take a glance into nearby、oh, houses. You're washing your dishes.、Tongue. You're like, hey, look at those guys. What are they? <laughs> what are they eating for dinner? Oh, that looks great. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. Thus, patterned glass became a popular choice because I guess the other thing, closing your curtains will give you privacy,、right. but it will make your home. Home really dark, dark. inside,、mm. and your your plants will die,、mm. and things like that. So、uh, the good thing about pattern glass, the air to circulate more. That's true too. Yeah, the good thing about pattern glass is people can't take a glance in,、ah. but the light will still come in to、uh, allow you to see things. A glance is a quick look. If I look at something just really quickly,、mm-hmm. that is a glance. I'm not sitting there, I'm not staring at it or watching it or observing it. It's just a quick look. Maybe I only need a little information. Maybe I look and I go, meh, not important, not interested.、Mm-hmm. But that's basically a glance. For example, Sue took a glance at the menu. Okay, and then decided not to order anything. She's a vegetarian.、Ah. It was a steak restaurant. Ooh, Ooh, okay, yeah, I'll have a coffee. I'm、no. fine. Okay, glance. We want to look for a long time. That's stare. Okay, that、mm. glance is look very quickly. Look at a piece. Take a glance. We often use such a phrase. Okay, for example, I t- took a quick glance at the menu、mm-hmm. before deciding what to order at the restaurant because、right. I usually go to that restaurant and I you, know what I want. You order the same thing. Exactly.、Yeah. Exactly. You look for new things, and、eh, that's all. All right. Over time, as locals became more familiar with the craft, Taiwan developed unique patterns with、ah. local styles. So they kind of got creative and artistic、nice. with it. If you're building a new building, it would be nice to have new styles of pattern glass, and people would go ooh and ah as they looked at it. Yeah.、Mm. Let's look at this word familiar. If you're familiar with something, this adjective means you know something very well, right? It's not new, it's not unusual, it's not strange, it's not the first time you've seen it. No, in fact, the opposite. You've probably seen it many times. It's part of your daily life. You can probably walk around your house with no lights on because the house is very familiar to you, right? You know where the chairs and tables and doors are, that kind of thing. You know your friends' faces even if they wear sunglasses or a Mask because their faces are familiar to you, or if you really like a certain song and you hear just a few seconds of it on the radio or somewhere, oh, I know that song. I'm very familiar with it. I've heard it many times. I have a lot of experience with it. For example, I grew up on this street, so I'm very familiar with all the places in the area. I could tell you every single business and store up and down my street without looking at it. And we also had this word craft. A craft. We can also use it. 
it as a verb, often to make something with your hands is to craft something. But a craft is basically a style of art or other creative work that you have made, probably again with your hands. Hobbies, things like painting or knitting or sewing or modeling things, creating things with wood or whatever it is. If you're using your hands and your skills and probably some art and creativity, you are probably making a craft of some kind. Here's a popular one. The craft of glass blowing has a long history in the Italian city of Venice. And I saw someone glass blowing here at a bookstore the other day. Very strange. Familiar 这个形容词就是熟悉的。那我们常会说 familiar with something， 就是熟悉某事物。For example, becoming familiar with a new neighborhood involves exploring its streets and meeting the neighbors.、Mm -hmm. And we also saw the word, which is the noun. Craft 就是传统的手工艺。For example, making friendship bracelets is a fun and creative craft activity for kids. I used to love making those. Oh, that is、for、a fun、friends. thing to do with、mm -hmm. your hands. For example, the following are a few common types of、Ooh. pattern glass.、Okay. So think of the pattern glass you have in your home. Maybe you'll see it in、Maybe. our little list. Right, and here we see today's language in focus. So let's take a look at that first. Today, language in focus 要看的是 the following is or the following are 的用法。那名词的 following 表示下述的人事物啦，用来举例或者是引述。Following 本身需写为单数形，那前方我们要加上定冠词 the。所以 the following 作为主词的时候呢，它的后面接上的动词单复数取决于后面所列举的名词。如果后面的名词是单数，那当然我们就要用单数型的动词；如果后面名词为复数，当然就要用复数型的动词。像是课文提到的是什么呢 ？The following。Are a few common types of pattern glass? 就是以下是一些常见的花样玻璃类型。我们再来举一些生活上的例子。For example, the following is a list of items to pack for your field trip: water bottle, snack, and a notebook. Or the following are a few tips for better studying. Find a quiet place, make a steady schedule, and take short breaks. 那另外呢 ，following 做形容词表示下列的、下述的。那修饰后方的名词的时候，前面一定要加 the。For example, to prepare for the exam, review the following chapters from your textbook. Or the following people have been selected to participate in the school talent show: Emma, James, and Lily. All right, so let's check out some of these more common patterns that you would see、mm -hmm. in the glass. Begonia glass. Begonia is one of the best-known pattern glass styles in Taiwan. The pattern combines large flowers with smaller ones placed in between, and I guess it's basically in the shape of a begonia, which is a type、mm -hmm. of flower. So that makes sense. I think that might be one I. That's the most common. That might be one I have in my bathroom.、Right. Yeah, it's often used in films to recreate <gasps> scenes of early times in Taiwan. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, so if you、okay. see that, you might think of your grandparents' house yes, or you know、sure. something like that where you went many years ago. How about this one? Reeded glass.、Oh. Reeded glass features vertical stripes, bringing a sense of order to space. So vertical meaning going up and、okay. down, not side to side. Vertical, vertical 就是垂直的，这是一个形容词。Yeah. 而 stripe 就是条纹的意思。Mm. 那不过 order 在这里呢，是当做不可数名词，表示整齐啊、条理的。所以课文提到的 read glass 就是长虹玻璃。大家有看过这个吗 ？Have you seen?、Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it's a bit more formal.、Right? That kind of makes sense because it says it fits、right. various modern design styles.、Mm -hmm. Right, everything's kind of clean、right. and neat and angular. Modern design styles and is commonly used in offices、oh. where maybe having flowers on the glass is a little, you know, <laughs> a little casual,、mm -hmm. a little more homelike. But having reeded glass is a little more businesslike.、Right. Anyways, we have various. This adjective means just many kinds, not just、mm -hmm. one. Kind, but many kinds. If you have a lot of choice, if there is a lot of things to choose from,、mm -hmm. a lot of selection, that means there are various things there for you to pick from. Here's an example: the store sells 
various kinds of equipment for camping.、Nice. So it's not just like a sleeping bag、no. store or a tent store.、No. They sell everything from sleeping bags and tents to little stoves to bags、mm. to boots to all that stuff. Okay, various 就是各种不同的形容词哦。那 for example, the store offers various options for ice cream flavors, so you can try something new each time.、Mm, I love that. That's a good idea. The, the the ice cream store called Only Vanilla. It, it, it didn't do very well. Boring. It just closed. Yeah. Our for you chat question: Have you seen any pattern glass before? Describe where <laughs> and how it was used. Yes, I've seen pattern glass before. Obviously,、sure. who hasn't?、Mm. It was in my grandma's old house,、oh, yeah. especially on the bathroom windows, no, course, right?、Yeah. Um, so the begonia glass had pretty floral designs.、Yeah. But to be honest, at the time, I didn't find it particularly special. But now I feel it's vintage、mm. and brings back old memories, since it's not so common nowadays. Yeah, I don't know. only in the countryside, I guess. Probably your older、mm-hmm. buildings、yes. in the city, yeah.、Yes. But it is probably becoming rarer. And rarer,、yep. so we should value it. That's all the time we have for today. But we're gonna have more about beautiful glass tomorrow. So come back. It's gonna be a glass. I mean, a gas. It's a gonna、blast. be fun. Vocabulary review. Privacy. If you're worried about your privacy, then don't put all your personal information online. Trace. My mother traced our family history back to Scotland, where my great grandparents worked as farmers. Glance. The first thing Ian does when he arrives at work is to take a glance at his schedule for the day. Familiar. These farmers are familiar with the signs of plant diseases and how to treat them. Craft. At the fair, people learn the craft of candle making and get to make their own candles. Various. The teacher uses various teaching methods to make sure all students understand the material. 智慧小蝴蝶 Molten. Roller. Manufacturer. Vertical. Stripe.